OK, uh, good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining. Um, what we're going to be talking about today is um, Microsoft Teams licensing. Um, then we've we pleasure to introduce Fen from Yaylink, who's going to be introducing some new tech they've got, their meeting board 65. And then we'll finish this off with a Q&A session. So in reality, Teams licensing is pretty straightforward uh, as Microsoft licensing goes, you'd be glad to hear. So the core functionality of Teams is in the free A1 license that all education get. Um, so it includes Teams meetings, Teams chats, um, the uh, education teams classrooms all of that is in the a1 license then if you need some added functionality um, such as running a webinar like we are doing now where you can record record attendees and have registration pages you need the webinars functionality or if you want to broadcast to a large crowd up to 10,000, you've got the live events functionality that's in the A3 license, which most of you will have anyway. The final bit to Teams licensing in reality is cloud telephony. And that is in the A5 license. And when I say A3 or A5, I mean Office 365 A3 or Microsoft 365 A3 and the same for A5. A final co component of Teams licensing which is not part of teams in reality is audio conferencing and this is a stand on standalone licensing or it's in a5 and what this does it allows someone to dial into a team's meeting and participate in the meeting um, even though they can't see what's going on it's for people without broadband at that time really okay um if if you want to move your telephony or your PBX to the cloud, you need A5 licensing. Microsoft 365 or Office 365 A5. However, you can get a phone system add-on license, um, which you can bolt on to A3. So if you're not ready for the full A5 functionality with, with things like security and Power BI, you can still get access to Teams telephony by purchasing the phone system add-on. Now, Teams telephony is a per user license. So everybody who wants to use Teams telephony needs a license. Being an user license, it does allow them to have multiple multiple devices on their license. So they could be using a mobile phone, a laptop, a Teams compatible handset. Um, any device they want is covered because it's a per user license. Um, then there's a separate license for shared devices. So in common rooms or classrooms, any device that's not assigned to an user but is shared by multiple users, you can uh, get a common area phone license, which is a per device license. The final component of um, the licensing are virtual phone licenses. These are free of charge but you need them to set up call queues or auto attendance within your PBX, but you can get them free of charge depending on how many you need. Licensing isn't the full, the full equation when you're looking at telephony. Um, another big component is calling and how you get calls on an in or out of the PSTN. So there's a couple of ways of doing it. You can get calling plans from Microsoft, 
which will give you a DDI and SIP trunks out onto the PSTN. Now they have 120 minute or 1200 minute domestic minute plans. Or you can have a 1200 minute and 600 international minute calling plan. Now these calling plans pool together. So if you buy some 120 minute plans, they pool together and some 1200 minute plans, they're in a separate pool. But if, if for instance, you bought 10 120 minute plans, that would give you 1200 minutes to share between those 10 users. Now, Microsoft calling plans are OK in a small establishment. Once your establishment grows, it's not necessarily going to be the most cost effective way for you to get calling within Teams. So the other option is to use your existing SIP trunks or to get SIP trunks and a session border controller, which is Teams compatible, such as a Robin. And what that does, it connects your SIP trunks via an encrypted link to your Office 365 tenancy. So your calls then are, are paid for from your existing providers. So that's another way, which is generally more cost effective way of doing things. The final option is just an extension of that last uh, option, which allows you to host the session border controller and the SIP trunks within a data center from a provider and you buy that as a solution. And then you don't need a session border controller or SIP trunks coming onto your establishment. It all gets routed from the data center into your Office 365 tenancy, and that's providing quite popular these days. And another thing to consider with Teams telephony is what handsets do you want to use? Do you want the users to use the phone system um, with, with a mobile phone, which you can have a mobile phone client for it? You can have it on your desktop and use a headset and mic. Um, on your laptop like we're doing here now, or you can get Teams compatible handsets, which are um, give you additional functionality where you can ho hold your meetings on the handset, for instance. And Yalink have an excellent range of Teams certified handsets. Um, and if you're interested in any of this, just get in touch with your account manager and they can assist you. Moving on from Teams calling, then you have Teams meeting rooms. So a Teams meeting room is any space where you've got a camera, a mic, a speaker, um, and you can hold meetings, remote meetings. Now, you can have that traditional method where you've got a camera and a mic, or you can um, use a meeting board like Fen is going to introduce later on, which incorporates it all in one system. Um, to, to license these devices, it's easier if you have a Teams license for that device. And the Teams meeting room license is a device license which gives you the Teams functionality, but also includes the phone system so you can ring the meeting room. It gives you auto audio conferencing to dial into the meeting room. But on top of that, it gives you Intune for device management and Azure AD Premium for user security. Um, so the Teams meeting room is a bundle of products that you can get for your meeting rooms devices. One thing to add to this is there is a Teams room premium license and what this adds is a managed service for Microsoft for your meeting rooms. So that's Teams meeting rooms and I'm going to finish off with Teams insights. So if you're using Teams in the classroom as part of your teaching and learning for assignments etc 
you can keep track of your students' progress with insights. Now, there are two insights available. So there's class insights that's included in the A3 license and it's scoped to the team that um, the class tutor has and the class tutor has visibility of student progress. And that's included in what you've already got. However, there is an Education Insights Premium. This is licensed per student, but then it is scoped across the whole establishment or multiple establishments so that education leaders can have insights into progress your students are making. So that's Teams Insights. And in essence, that finishes off Teams licensing. So it's a fairly straightforward um, licensing subject. So now it's my pleasure to introduce Fen from Failink, from Yaylink, sorry, at their virtual demo room to introduce the new meeting room. So Fen, over to you. Thank you. Yeah, so hi everyone. My name is Fen, uh, the Yelling Sales Engineer. So I'm mainly working on Microsoft Teams product portfolio. And uh, in the future, if you guys have any questions related to a project, please feel free to let Pure Computers know. And also, if there are anything I need assistance, uh, assist of, uh, I'll be more than hap happy to help you guys. So firstly, I want to share my slide to you guys. So uh, as you can see from this page, Yelink actually has four range product portfolio from uh, the USB speakerphone, USB microphone, and also Teams phone, meeting room solutions, and the IoT devices like uh, Teams panel, and uh, also interactive whiteboard, like the meeting board 65. And uh, so for, uh, for meeting room solutions, we have meeting room on Android and meeting room on Windows, and uh, there are native Teams rooms. And also, we will release a new device called Meeting Board, and it comes with 65 inch and also 86 inch for for you guys. Depends on what room size you guys have. And uh, also, uh, as you can see, uh, we have four range solutions from the focus size to extra large size meeting rooms, training space. And uh, today, our main topic will be on the Meeting Board devices. So uh, this is the Yelink meeting board 65, what it looks like. And uh, it's all in one design collaboration bar designed for small and uh, two large size meeting space. And 65 is actually stand for the size of the screen. So if you say meeting board 86, it will be the larger version screen you will be able to have. And uh, also, uh, why the reason why you need a uh, meeting board 65 rather than an uh, inter interactive whiteboard? Uh, the reason why is that meeting board 65 is designed for Teams room specifically. It has built in Teams apps. So you are able to come in the room and then join the meeting right on the spot. Uh, and uh, with a white uh, interactive whiteboard, it might be just like a TV, so you won't be able to join Teams or anything. And you will still need to purchase Microsoft Teams Room solution to add on top of TV to create a full meeting room solution. And uh, so these are some of the user scenarios. Because this device is designed from the small size, to large size meeting space, you are actually able to use it in a medium small size meeting room or use it as a, a all in one TV in a executive room or a open space and also for training room or classrooms. And there are two options for mountings. So when you purchase the package, it will automatically come with a wall mounting kit. And then if you want to 
make it a portable solution, you can purchase the additional uh, TV stand. So you are able to move it around with you. So the TV itself, it's, it will be around like 90 kilogram. So you, uh, with the wheels, you are able to push it around fairly easily. And uh, this will be what it looks like from different sides. So on the top line there, these are the pictures with the optional additional camera for large size meeting space. And the bottom picture will be the native uh, package with the all-in-one design building camera, speaker, and the microphone. And uh, with this device, it automatically comes with 4K wide view cameras for huddle and small size meeting space. And uh, you are available to purchase additional uh, cameras. It comes with 12 times or 6 times PTZ camera. So you are basically adding on top of the screen and able to uh, enable the video quality in large size meeting space. And for the audio devices, uh, it comes with 16 beam for microphone and the six array speakers. So it will support eight meters double talk. Uh, and uh, also if you want to use it in a large size meeting room, you are still able to add additional wireless Wi-Fi microphone or yelling ceiling microphone with this device. So you are able to enable the video uh, audio quality in the large size meeting space. And also for the AI features, when it's first released, it won't be much, but we do plan to have all function AI features with this device. Auto framing, speaker tracking, presenter tracking, picture in picture mode, multi focus framing, and also people feed. Uh, all these AI features will be support with this meeting board 65 at some point with a firmware update. And also for the audio part, it will support AI noise cancellation, Microsoft Cortana and such in the future. And uh, so the next page, when this device is released, it, it will be a uh, Android device and uh, it will be based on Android 10, but it also comes with portable chipset board so you are able to remove the chipset board if you want to up, upgrade to higher Android version. For example, if the Android become higher version to 15, 16 in the future, you are able to easily switch the chipset board and support the further updates for Android version. So you don't need to worry about spending money on this uh, expensive uh, all-in-one device and you won't be able to use it for a long time because of the security reasons. And uh, it can provide you the or original Teams meeting experience, as I mentioned earlier, but moreover, you will be able to enjoy the collaboration features with the in Microsoft Teams. So it will support the whiteboarding features and it, there are many templates like brainstorming and such in the whiteboarding. So you are able to smooth the team collaboration process. And uh, when this device is released, it will be with all the basic uh, whiteboarding features. But in the future, we do plan to in integrate with more features. Uh, so currently, it probably will only be supporting uh, basic functions like uh, chip correction or also uh, some of the templates, it will be supported. And in the future, it may support like uh, Microsoft Office 365 and also image out, uh, import and such. And it will support three pens writing at the same time together. So with this device, it also has really great extension ability. So uh, firstly, you are able to use the WPP30 wireless content sharing and W uh, wireless BYOD solution with this device to provide the wireless experience for sharing and meeting. And uh, secondly, 
it will work with our room panel and room sensor in the future. So basically the device will be connected with the room uh, room room panel and uh, log into same Teams account. And then the room sensor will be connecting with the room panel. If the room sensor will be able to detect the humanity and also the temperature of the meeting space. If there are any human activities, if people book the room but they didn't come, the room sensor will automatically detect and release the room for free and other people can book it. And uh, it can definitely work with our meeting board solution. And the next one will be the touch console capability. So you are able to add additional touch console with this meeting board. So it will be a wireless solution as well. So you are able to connect the CTP18 or the touch panel uh, to the meeting board via IP. So basically log into same Teams account and then connect to same network. Then uh, you are able to pair those two devices together. And next one will be Windows OPS. So basically you are able to switch between Windows and also Android. So for many education scenarios, Windows will be more beneficial because they can use ma many of the teaching uh, tools with the Windows, but not Android. And also uh, for the last one will be the upgradable Android chipset, as I mentioned earlier, to support future Android update and to waive your security worries in the future. Yeah. And also you are able to add the uh, PTZ camera on top of the screen if you need additional camera for a large size meeting room. And also for the microphone part, you are able to use the VCM36W Yelink wireless Wi-Fi microphone or VCM38 Yelink ceiling microphone. Uh, to make the extensibility. And also, if you want more screens, you are uh, the meeting board supports dual screens, so you are able to connect two screens together. And uh, also, we have two sides, so 65 inch and also 86 inch screen. So do you guys So that's basically all my presentation, and uh, I will move to the live demo then. And uh, later on, we can do a Q&A session if you guys have any questions. So this is basically the meeting board 65. And uh, as you can see, it's all in one design with building microphone, speaker, and also camera, and also the touch screen. And on the top middle uh, part, uh, that's the camera. And when I join the meeting, it will automatically open the security shutter. So if I join the meeting from the meeting board, I will walk to. So I won't be able to join the webinar meeting because uh, I won't be able to show you guys the local whiteboard. It all only supports when I send meeting to the external. So if I just join a meeting. So as you guys can see, this will be the video quality currently, but in the future, we do plan to upgrade this video quality with different firmware version. And also, uh, there are some of the basic uh, Microsoft Teams room solutions you are able to use during a meeting. Also, uh, on this corner, you are able to turn on the speaker or turn the speaker off, and also you are able to adjust uh, the lightings of the screen. So depends on when do you, when you guys have the meeting, you guys can easily switch the light uh, 
the brightness and also the volume with this device. And with this device, you are able to do recording as well. So it should support the internal whiteboard and also it, it will support local whiteboard. So many of the situation in education, you don't actually join in a meeting to use the whiteboard. You will usually use the local whiteboard. So here we have the local whiteboard. So if I just click here, it will take a little while to open the whiteboard function. So this will be what it looked like when I first joined it. And then, as you can see, when I write, this is pretty smooth and uh, it doesn't have any delays. So, and you can easily adjust the size of the font of the screen with your fingers and also you can erase anything you write so on the back of the pen you are able to easily erase anything you don't want and uh, also uh, it have palm rejection so if your hands are really close to the screen it won't uh, mess up with your writings at all because it has the palm rejection and uh, there are also other functions you can use for example the light uh the red light you want to circle something uh to have people pay some attention on it but it will disappear in a little bit after and also you can add a note in it so you can see there is a note and then if you just tap here and then you are able to tap something And also, you are able to easily move this around and adjust the size. This and also, you are able to draw many of the shapes if you want. And uh, it has auto correction. So if I just draw a circle, so it will automatically correct the shape. And uh, any of the reactions you want to add. Another part will be the template. So there are many templates like brainstorming, problem solving, design and search, and also strategy project plan. So as many of the uh, business or education scenario going more collaboration, collaborate, uh, this will be really useful. So if I just click one of the templates, so you are able to easily use the notes on there and uh, just tap something if you want to move it just move it to different positions you are able to do that as well and with this device it can support three pins writing at the same time so i have three pins here and uh, if i just join something so it doesn't have any problem with it And also you are just able to adjust this and move it to some other place if you want and start something new. And uh, if you want to move something specifically, you are able to just circle it. And uh, then you are able to like adjust it and uh, also move it around 
if needed. Yeah. So that's basically it for the whiteboard we have and also the whiteboard in the meeting. So this will be the same experiment. So I think that's all for my demo. Do you guys have any questions? Please feel free to yeah, let us know.